Hello and welcome, it's Bushwhacker here with another Stationeers tutorial. On today's episode we're going to be setting up a system so then you can uh, capture and compress your gas so you can use it later. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to build a couple things which I've already done here. You're, you start out with some pipe so we need some pipe we're going to need a pressure regulator, a couple gas tank storages, we have a passive vent in an active vent. We have a pipe meter, a couple valves. Uh, we're also going to do one of the large tank connectors and some canisters. We also have a couple of little extra things back here. And I brought my portable air scrubber. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is uh, we have to make sure that we have an uh, area that can seal and store in all the gases. So I made this little 2x2 two two building here. Now I made it a separate building from my main base because I've had several instances where I will have big explosions and it will absolutely destroy everything. So I figure if we do it in this little outbuilding here it should be maybe a little bit safer. Also what I've done is I've come in here and I've hooked up my furnace. Uh, because some of the volatiles in oxide won't melt if there's obviously no pressure and no temperature. So you might have to start it in the arc furnace to get it started. Also wired up the door obviously so I can close it and so that it'll maintain pressure. The first thing that we need to do is construct our gas tank connectors. So we're going to grab these guys, or gas tank storage. We'll come and place all three of these right on the side of the building here. Just like that. Okay, now that we have all three of those built, we can go ahead and start working on the rest of our piping. Next we're going to need our valves and some pipe. Now you can't place valves directly next to these uh, connectors so you have to place one thing of pipe then we can place our valves down. Obviously we want to face everything inside so we can control it from inside there. Now we're going to place a junction here. Uh, we'll place a three-way junction here on the bottom and we will just place a corner up top. Now we can have our gas go inside and the bottom here and then we're going to place another T up top here and you'll see why I'm doing this here in a second now we can take another valve, place them that way, and place one up top as well. We'll go ahead and place one more pipe facing down here. Okay, and now we have the beginning of our setup built. So let's go ahead and we're going to grab a passive vent. So as you can see the system can fill three separate bottles and the top is also going to be that large bottle. And then on the bottom we're going to place a passive vent. This is go going to allow us to completely drain this system so we don't accidentally put like hydrogen in our breathing air or so we can just keep everything as pure as possible. Now before I build the top we're going to go ahead and actually change this up just a little bit. we're going to take our pipe wrench and we're going to make critical. we're going to make this another four-way junction and place a single straight pipe onto the side here and on that single straight pipe we can place our pipe meter there we go so now we have our pipe meter okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this top piping here now you can see these pipes um, they are like self sealing so no matter what if you just kinda just leave it open it's not actually open it's actually every end piece that you place down is closed 
So you need to remember that. That's why we had to put that pass event on the very end of it, because that allows it to be open and vent to the outside atmosphere. Now we're building this pipe across here, so then we can get to the other side of our building and that we can connect that large tank. Okay, now that we have this pipe all along the back here, we can go ahead and grab our large tank connector. So, tank connector. We will walk into here. And we will connect that up. The final couple things that we're going to need for this build are our active vent. This is going to allow all of the air in this room to be sucked into the piping network. And we'll also need our pressure regulator. And that will allow us to set a very specific pressure that these bottles will get pressurized to. We're going to go ahead and place our active vent Power right there. Low. So now that we've placed our active vent down, we can grab our pressure regulator. And we will also grab a couple pieces of piping here. Now we can't place this pressure regulator directly next to our active vent for whatever reason that is. So we'll place it over one more and we have to place piping in between. So we'll go ahead and place a piece of straight pipe. And then we can place a piece of curved pipe to connect into the rest of our system. Now that the system is complete we can go ahead and start adding our canisters. So we have two small canisters that are empty. We'll place these in here. And we have one large canister, or a portable tank. So we will bring this inside. And then you need to just place this kind of on top and then grab your wrench and wrench it down. There we go, now that is in place. We'll get this cable out of here. And now we can grab our portable air scrubber and we can bring this inside. Power critical. Okay, so before we go inside and start filling bottles, let's kind of look over this and see how it works from the outside. So obviously at the bottom here, we have where the air is going to get pumped in. Then we have these three valves here, which can go to these three gas tank storages. So you can choose to fill one, two, or all three of them at once. Right here we have a passive vent, and that will allow us to completely drain the system so we don't keep anything inside of here that we don't want to. To the left here, we have our pipe meter. That allows us just to make sure that we're getting a good pressure to each of our tanks. And at the top, we have another valve allowing us to fill our large cylinder. So I've gone ahead and I've placed a little bit of flooring down so it doesn't look quite as bad. And I've also placed a couple lights in here. So now we can go ahead and get started and filling these up. So we can close this. So just one thing that you should look at before you start filling is just make sure that this is canister open because that means it's closed and if you were to click it again it would open. Because I've done this several times and you'll lose everything you have if you do it the wrong way. So open. So both of those are right. Okay, so then we can come here and we can increase our pressure regulator and we can really max this thing out. I found that you can fill these bottles at least to 10,000 uh, kilopascals. So we'll increase it all the way. Okay, so I've increased this pressure regulator all the way to 10,000. Then we can go ahead and turn this on. Because this is a active vent, this would need to be on. So now, yeah, this is what always confuses me, inward. I believe it needs to be set to outward, and then we'll turn this on once we're ready. So now, because there's no air pressure in here, we're probably not going to be able to just throw our oxide down. So I've gone out and I've mined some oxide. Well, actually, you can. And just because probably these lights or something is creating it an environment where it's warm enough, so we're going to get some pressure. So we'll just put one of these down, and we're just going to see how much pressure we'll build in this little room, and make sure that we're not losing any pressure as well. So it's just going to roll around while it's kind of melting. Okay. 
Okay, and while it's doing that, yep, we can go ahead and we'll grab our tablet here. Let me grab my other one. Okay, so as you can see, that is 90% oxygen and 10% nitrogen. Now, that's a pretty good uh, mixture for breathing. I mean, really, you should have quite a bit more nitrogen, but that's good enough for me. So I'll kind of call this breathing air, and we don't need to use our scrubber at this point because there's really nothing in there that we don't want. So now that we have our pressure set, we can go ahead and remember the top valve that goes all the way over here. This bottom valve is our drain, so we want to make sure both those are closed. And we'll go ahead and fill this middle bottle here. So we'll open that up. Okay, so that valve is on. Obviously, if it's kind of crossways, that means it's closed off. If it's in line, that means it's on. So now we can go ahead and turn this vent on. And that's going to rapidly start draining the pressure in here. And you should see the pressure of our bottle start to increase here. Okay, and as you can see, the pressure here, you have to get out of the way of our furnace here, is 2947. So we can go ahead and we can fill this even higher. So it looks like we're going to be able to jump dump all of these on the ground. So we'll drop this one. We'll go ahead and also drop this one right on the ground. And again, we can just open up our tablet, make sure everything's all good, which it is. We'll let these guys roll around and get sucked into our tank here. Okay, and with all three of those completely emptied out, you can see that we have a total of 9,382 kilopascals. So now we want to make sure that we close this valve here. And then we can go ahead and we can grab our Power canister. Critical. And you can see that we have 9,382 kilopascals in there. And then you can use this for a variety of things. So we can drop it on the ground. So my uh, jetpack is actually a little low. So you could actually use this for your jetpack. I'm sure you could use this to breathe. Yeah, we can try that. So let's go ahead and put this in my hand and I'll switch it out with my air tank. There we go. And I'm breathing and everything is doing just fine. So that works perfectly. Now that we're all done filling, we can go ahead and drain this excess pressure. And as you can see, we have still that 9381 in here. And when we go to fill our next bottle, maybe we don't want any oxygen or nitrogen in there. So the best way to make sure everything is completely drained out is I like to leave my active vent on and my pressure regulator set and I'm just gonna open up all my valves here and then at the bottom here we can go ahead and open our drain valve so once we do that that'll start draining stuff outside and I can show you that so that, yeah that's just gonna make sure all of our all of our gas here is just drained to the outside now it is a little wasteful but it's what we have to do to make sure that we have nice and clean pipes. So now it's still slowly draining. We want to make sure that this gets all the way to zero. And I even let it run a little bit after that. Okay, as you can see, we've lowered it all the way down to zero KPA. So we can go ahead and close all of our valves again. I would like to thank everyone for watching this video today. If you like this video, go ahead and give a like. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Again, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you again next time. Bushwaka out.